A new study showed that mRNAs from Pfizer and Moderna's COVID vaccine were found in breast milk up to 48 hours post-vaccination. Now this is important because the initial Pfizer and Moderna vaccine clinical trials excluded lactating or breastfeeding mothers. Now all of a sudden, this study shows up. Now if you want a quick summary of this video, here it is. In a new peer-reviewed study posted in JAMA Pediatrics, 11 lactating mothers or individuals who received either Pfizer or Moderna's COVID vaccine less than six months after delivering a baby were asked to collect multiple personal breast milk samples before and one hour to five days after vaccination. The results, mRNAs were found in nearly 50% of individuals' breast milk in seven different samples and up to 48 hours post-vaccination. Anyways, folks, that's just the summary, but the details matter, so stay tuned. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come up. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. Also, I have YouTube memberships now that give you access to extra content like this, so click the join button above. Anyways, let's get into this. First, let me pull up my most recent Substack post on this study. I'm going to scroll down here and highlight this paragraph right here. So to review, 11 mothers who were given a Pfizer or Moderna COVID vaccine less than six months after birthing their child collected a total of 131 personal breast milk samples. Now, as a control group, again, every person collected breast milk samples before vaccination and every person also collected samples from one hour to five five days after vaccination. So as you could imagine, the not yet vaccinated samples were compared to the vaccinated samples, then differences and similarities were examined. If you look right here at this sentence, and I'll highlight this for you, mRNAs, otherwise known as messenger RNAs or messenger ribonucleic acids from the vaccine were found in seven samples from nearly 50% of participants, but only in those samples 48 hours or less after getting a vaccine. Now let's scroll down to this image here. Hold on one second. Now, if you look right here, this table examines the five participants who expressed mRNAs in their breast milk. However, the neat thing is this study examined not only the mRNAs in breast milk as a whole, but also, if you look right here, also examined the mRNAs encapsulated in what's termed EMB EVs. That means expressed breast milk extracellular vesicles. Let me explain. In the context of the study, an extracellular vesicle is an independent unit with a phospholipid bilayer, which in this case houses the vaccine mRNAs. Continuing on, when the phospholipid bilayer of an extracellular vesicle finds another cell, it can attach and dump its contents like mRNA into the newly found cell. That is a problem because that mRNA in the cell can cause immunologic problems if the baby consumes it through breast milk. We'll get into that later though. Now look to the far right column right here. The highest concentration of mRNA detected in extracellular vesicles was 16.6 seven, eight picograms per milliliter. That's a small amount, but that doesn't mean it is not impactful. Even the author stated, quote, in addition, the potential interference of COVID-19 vaccine mRNA with the immune response to multiple routine vaccines given to infants during the first six months of age needs to be considered. It is critical that lactating individuals be included in future vaccination trials to better evaluate the effect of mRNA vaccines on lactation outcomes. So as you can see, the authors are implying the mRNA from mother's breast milk consumed by baby could cause immune imprinting and could also interact with other childhood immunizations. So what does all this mean? As you can see, the sample size from the study was very small. There were only 11 participants, so there needs to be a larger study done. So it's obviously clear more testing needs to be done to see the effects these vaccines could have on children during breastfeeding. Anyways, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything you'd like to learn about in the future, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next one.